So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you 10 plus things you probably didn't know. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so these 10 plus things may come in handy. Some are probably pointless bits of information, but all is great for that knowledge bank if you're an Elden Ring player. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. And first up, you guys know the Beast Repellent Torch. Yes, the one you can purchase from a vendor right here on the map. Well, as its name states, guys, this thing actually repels certain enemies within the game. You know those certain looking T-Rex funny dogs that stand on their back legs and chase your ass down? Well, if you're holding this torch guys, those dogs, those beasts will not attack you. Yeah, wild, but absolutely works a treat. Try it out for yourselves. Okay, so next up guys, and well, I'm I'm pretty sure this is one many people know about but I only just found out about this thing. You know when you're going up and down ladders, you know how you can slide down them much quicker by holding a certain button on your platform? Well guys, if you hold that same button, you actually climb up them faster too. I actually had no idea about this. Credit to the dude who left a comment on my video, I briefly saw it, I was like what? I'm gonna try that out and yes, for sure, can actually climb up ladders much quicker too great little bit of information there guys you need to know about okay so moving on and you know your consumable slots you have 10 of them in total you can put whatever you want inside of these consumable slots well guys did you know that if you hold down on your d-pad you'll actually quickly skip to that one that's in that first slot so for instance, if you're in a boss battle, your health potion is in that number one slot, but you're confused, you're panicking, you don't know what to do. If you hold down on your D-pad guys, it will automatically take you back to that first slot, that first consumable slot, making it much, much easier to skip to said item if you're in a rush or a panic to use said item. This also works as well guys with those sorcery, spells and incantations. Whichever one you have equipped and memorized first, if you hold up on your d-pad, that will be the one you quickly shift to. It works amazingly guys, so yes, try it out and I hope it helps. Also guys, we do know that there are tons and tons of spirit summons within this game. But did you know there's actually a few of them that behold some serious amazing secrets? For instance, Latena, the albino rick. Did you know that this summon has the ability to actually ride dire wolves? Yes, you heard that right. This spirit summon is one that's actually stationary when you pull it down. I mean, there's a rare instance that you may crawl a couple of inches or shift a couple of inches. But if there's a dire wolf in proximity of this summon and there are other enemies around said summon, she will leap on the back of the dire wolf as you'll see on screen now. Pretty cool guys it really is and there's probably countless other secrets other spirit summons have too. We know there's a couple that actually heal themselves, not including the mimic which we know does that anyway but there's a few others that can also heal themselves. There's probably many many other secrets guys that we just don't know about yet so yes if you know of any please let us know down below within that comment section. Okay, so moving on. And you guys got any rainbow stones within your inventory? These consumables, shines with colored light when placed, serving as a guide. Well, actual fact guys, these do serve as a great guide. What these do is, and I'm not gonna say this is 100% accurate because I have had a few instances where they haven't worked for me, but I'd say 95% of the time these things work as probably intended. What these are used for guys is to actually test a certain height whether or not you'll fall to your death or not. So if you throw one off, as you're seeing on screen now, and it doesn't break, it doesn't crack, it doesn't shatter, it means that you will not die jumping off. If you do flick one off the edge and it shatters, therefore guys, there's a good chance you will fall to your death. So yeah, guys, try it out. Like I said, an amazing actual uh, consumable, one I don't think many people knew about. So I hope that helps too. Okay, so moving on. And Radan, one of the first bosses you fight in this game. If you have defeated him, you will get his remembrance. Now, if you take that remembrance to two fingers within a round table, 
you can pick one of two items. Now, if you pick his greatsword, which is an amazing greatsword, by the way, let's not lie to ourselves. This thing is capable of some great, great things. But did you know that if you two hand this weapon, you actually dual wield it? You only need one to do this as well, but you'll have another one appear in your left hand. And like I said, this happens when you two hand this weapon. You magically have one appear in your left hand. What's even crazier, guys, is it doesn't add any weight onto your player for dual wielding it. So yeah guys, a sweet little trick with Rudan's greatsword, one I don't think many people know about. Okay, so moving on guys, and on to the Margit Shackle, as well as Morg Shackle. These shackles actually have hidden abilities, hidden features, secret things they can do. Now there's probably more than what I know, but the things I know are, firstly guys, these can be used to stun bosses. So for instance, Going into the Margit fight, if you use this outside of that cloudy, yellowy, orangey, foggy wall, if you hit this against the floor a couple of times, when you go into this boss fight, he will be frozen on the spot. Meaning you can take him to that phase 2 without actually being touched, which is a great tip for new players. It may work with other bosses in the game too, haven't tried it yet, but I'm probably... 90% certain there's other bosses in the game that can be taken advantage of using this well, what could be classed as an exploit. Another thing these are great for is revealing hidden walls. So you know if you've got hidden walls, well you won't know if you've got hidden walls until you use these but hey there are many caves within this game, catacombs, heroes graves where they behold hidden walls. These can be used guys to reveal hidden walls and the radius on them is pretty astonishing it's got a massive radius and how far these actually reach so yeah guys try it out you may find a secret room you never knew about before another thing they're great for doing is you know those uh like, the, like pillars that move up and down that spew that fire at you these can also be used to get rid of these too again these are, can normally be found within catacombs those heroes graves those caves those dungeons the pillars that move up and down guys them things that burn your ass yet yeah, you use these at a distance guys and will seemingly be operated to move out of your path making that path clear for you to move through so pretty cool guys try it out another great thing these can be used for is to also destroy certain chariots within certain heroes graves because they seemingly activate certain things what they can do is also activate certain traps like the one within the Ariza's hero's grave by the capital. This one, when you kill these chariots or destroy these chariots, you also get some great tree sentinel armor too, as well as an incantation. So yeah guys, these shackles behold a few hidden secrets, pretty cool. Okay, so moving on guys, and on to a way in which you can basically get infinite HP. You can restore, regen your HP without using your health potions and this revolves around or includes you having two certain glintstone crowns now these both can be found within about a minute of each other within the rare lucaria academy you want the carolus glintstone crown and also the Alivinus glintstone crown so if your health is low guys you will not have no health potions left if you go into your inventory and quickly switch in between these two crowns your health will regen well basically as fast as you can switch between them it is pretty cool this is no doubt a bug maybe even an exploit it probably won't be here forever so hey use it while you can if you need to next up guys we have the takers cameo talisman now this is a talisman rewarded to you from tanif within the volcano manor now this is kind of a weird one i think it's probably a bug i'm not too sure now we know this talisman restores a little bit of your health upon you defeating an enemy. But something else it does guys is actually it restores your health when you activate certain blood stains. The blood stains of horses dying. Now how weird is this? Try it out guys. Look for a blood stain on the floor where a horse dies. Obviously well it's mounted by a player whether it's accidentally falling off a map, being killed by an enemy, whatever. As long as a horse dies at the same time as the human player, you will regen your health. Yeah guys, I did say this list would have and include certain things that are completely useless, but hey, 
is knowledge for that Elden Ring knowledge bank. Okay, and lastly, guys, we have secret walls. Now, these secret walls ain't the same secret walls that you will find within catacombs. These are hidden walls that are basically within the open world, which people have been finding, which are really unusual. It leads many of us players to believe that there are still hidden walls out there that reveal more secrets people haven't found yet. For instance, we have that 1000 HP wall found within Volcano Manor. Now this wall ultimately leads to nothing, it leads to a room you ain't actually limited from. But the point is there's actually a wall here that you have to hit 20, 30, 40 plus times before it breaks is real unusual another unusual wall is found within the rare lucaria academy just off to the side of a room no reason really for it to be here it only hides a rune arc but the mere fact that this wall's here leads many people to believe that there are many many other walls out there that may lead to hidden paths hidden loot other things people haven't found so going back to that actual shackle guys that could be more important than you can imagine and there we have it guys, 10 plus things you probably didn't know about, but now you do. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you know of something that you don't think many people know about, let the world know down below. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beauty for people. I will see you on that next one.